Hey everyone, this is Daniel Wheeler with DVHS Techno and today I wanted to show you how to make a shortcut to a subfolder in Google Drive and the reason you might want to do this is so that you don't have to drill down as many levels when you're trying to find a subfolder within our DVHS 2014-15 shared campus folder. So what we're looking at here is my Google Drive and this is the shared folder that we all have access to here at the high school. And if I am adding curriculum into my PLC folder, you know, it's going to be several levels down. I have to click on the, the big shared folder. I have to go to English. And then for me, I'm, I teach ACC English, so I have to click on this. Um, and then I've got some other subfolders. That can take a little bit of time to click through those different levels and that it could be frustrating and it'd be a lot easier if I just had a shortcut to it on my main, uh, the main level of my drive. Another reason that I would want a shortcut to one of the subfolders here on the main level of my drive is if I have the desktop Google Drive folder. So I'm opening up my, um, my computer folder and I've already installed Google Drive for desktop. Now, one of the complaints I've heard from several teachers is that they don't like the fact that um, that when they install the desktop desktop folder, it's syncing all the contents in the shared DVHS folder. That can be something like 15,000 files right now. It can take a long time to sync, and they only want to sync their particular PLC folder or their subfolder. And so the workaround is to create a shortcut back on your main level and then only sync that one subfolder and not sync the DVHS folder. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through the steps on how to do that. Um, so it, there's a, it's a multi-step process. I'm going to assume, number one, that you've already installed the Google Drive desktop folder. And I'm also going to assume that you know how to get into your Google Drive. If you need help with any of those, you can... Um, email me and I'll be glad to help you. But um, So the first thing you want to do is go find the subfolder that you want to make a shortcut. So just for fun, I'm going to make a shortcut to my, um, let's say, English 3. Um, you select the folder that you want to make a shortcut for, and you press Shift and Z. When you press Shift Z, a window pops up that says Add To. And I just want it to be on my main level of my drive. I don't want to put it in another subfolder. I just want to be on the main level. So all you have to do is click Add. Now notice the English 3 folder is still here as a subfolder in the main DVHS 2014-15 folder. But if I go back to my drive, the English 3 folder shows up here as well. So it's basically a shortcut or a clone is another way of thinking of it. Whenever I put documents inside of this folder, it also puts it inside the English 3 folder in its original location. That's a subfolder in here. So first of all, now it's a lot faster for me to get to this English 3 folder. I can just click on it. I don't have to go drill down several levels into this DVHS shared folder. The other benefit, though, is when I'm syncing my desktop Google Drive folder, I can just sync that English 3 and not the whole thing. So open up your Google Drive desktop folder. You right-click here on Google Drive. You go to Google Drive and then Preferences. A window pops up that, show, that gives you the options of syncing specific folders. By default, it syncs everything, but um, you just check the ones you want to sync. So I unchecked DVHS 2014-15 because I don't necessarily want all 15,000 files inside that inside of that folder synced to my computer. But I do want this English 3 one that I just made a shortcut to. And then I click Apply Changes. And then it will start syncing um, to my desktop folder. So if you don't want to access Google Drive through your web browser, I recommend downloading the desktop folder. It's just kind of like Dropbox, the same thing, and it's quick to um, navigate 
from your desktop. And you can always change your syncing settings by going back in, right clicking on Google Drive, going back to your preferences, and then you can uncheck a folder if you decide, you know what, I don't want to sync that one. And you apply the changes. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to cover today was just how to make a shortcut to a subfolder, bring it back to your main level in your My Drive, and then sync it up with your desktop Google Drive folder. Um, please check back this YouTube channel as we'll be um, creating and placing more uh, techno videos on here to, to help you uh, learn how to do different things related to, to EdTech.